Hello, students from grade five. Uh, this is another lesson online. Uh, this is the last week that you will be doing in unit three. So in two lessons time, we will be finished unit three and you will do your third um, unit test or worksheet that you would have to do for your marking for your score at the end of the year. Um, so on this lesson we are going to do a review of the unit, talk about what we've done so far in the unit and we're going to learn about a menu, um, talk about a menu, so how to order food in a restaurant, what do you need to have, you need to have a menu so when you go into the restaurant or wherever you go for eat food you will get a menu and you can see what food the restaurant cooks or, or and you order the food um, so in this lesson you are going to um, make your own menu and write a review of a restaurant that is in the student book um, so if you open your student book you can see the review page and the menu which is page 34 so the menu, you can see the menu, what is on the menu, you can see you have the, the, the names of the foods and you have the price. The menu tells you the price as well. So if you have some, sometimes you might not have enough money to buy some food, so you need to look at the price of the menu. Um, so number one, we have fruit salad, chicken wings, lemonade, tuna sandwiches, grapefruit juice, Sour, so some of the tastes are coming in here. Fried rice and spicy. Um, so you just need to fill in number one. So you can see number one. Um, what is number one? So number one would be chicken wings, but you also have to fill in number two, which would be spicy. Then you have number two, re. <coughs> number three, tuna sandwiches. Four, <coughs> scrambled eggs. Five fruit salad, six grapefruit juice, seven lemons, and the lemons are sour. So just fill in the menu, and um, then when you're finished, um, you can go to exercise B and listen to me and circle, circle A or circle B. So follow my directions in circle A or B. So number one, what did you have for lunch? I had chicken wings for lunch. So you circle the chicken wings. Number two, how did the tuna sandwich taste? It tasted salty. So you will circle the salty taste. Three, what did Tom have for breakfast? He had fruit salad for breakfast. So you will circle fruit salad. And number four, how did the fried rice taste? It tasted greasy. So you will circle the greasy fried rice. So again, what did you have for lunch? I had chicken wings. How did the tuna sandwich taste? It tasted salty. What did Tom have for breakfast? He had a fruit salad for breakfast. And how did the fried rice taste? It tasted greasy. So circle A or B for each question. So that is the page. Then the next page is um, the next page of the student book where you have to make your own menu. So you have a restaurant here. So you choose your restaurant, you see the food. So if Pete's Grill has fruit salad, chicken wings, lemonade, and ice cream. Bob's Diner has scrambled eggs, tuna sandwiches, grapefruit juice, and pudding. Jerry's restaurant has a potato soup, a fried rice, soda, and cheesecake. Now you see starter main drink and dessert so when you go to a restaurant or um sometimes 
when you have a meal, you usually eat three or four different foods. So the starter is what you eat first. What you eat first. And then you have your main course, which is the main meal that you eat. So it's like to be the, the, the most... Um, most biggest one that you will eat and then and you will have a drink with your main course and you will also have a dessert usually you will have something like a ice cream or you will have a cake after you eat the main course so you have a starter a main course and a dessert and um, so what you need to do is pick your favorite restaurant you have three rest three restaurants pick your favorite restaurant and tick the correct the, the restaurant that you like the most so some people like might might like might like to eat tuna sandwiches so they might like bob's diner or you might like cheesecake so you might pick jerry's restaurant pick your favorite restaurant and tick the box tick one only and then you write the food so if you pick pete's grill i'm going to pick pete's grill so you will write starter fruit salad main chicken wings uh the drink is lemonade and the dessert is ice cream and then how did it taste so how does fruit salad taste Fruit salad would be sweet and sour. Uh, chicken wings, the chicken wings is spicy. Lemonade would be sour and the ice cream would be sweet. If you picked Bob's Diner, scrambled eggs would be salty. Tuna sandwiches would be also salty. Grapefruit juice would be bitter and pudding would be sweet. If you picked Jerry's Restaurant, potato soup would be um up to you it could be whatever you think i think it would be more um salty a little bit um a fried rice would be greasy so that would be sweet and a cheesecake would be sweet and then you give your food restaurant a five star or if you give it a two star so you up to you what your restaurant how many stars do you want five stars is very good restaurant uh, three stars is okay restaurant and one is not a good restaurant if you see one star restaurant not a good restaurant to go to and if you see five stars is very very good restaurant the food would be better in a five star restaurant than it would be in a one star so give your restaurant a rating give the food a rating so if you like cheesecake give it a five if you like fried rice give it a two or up to you pick them right so then, and then write your blog. So where did you go? What restaurant did you go to? I went to the name of the restaurant. Did you go to Pete's Grill or Bob's Diner or Jerry's Restaurant? First, I tried the, uh, what did you have first? So you ate the fruit salad, the scrambled eggs or the potato salad. And remember, it or day, countable is day, uncountable is, is, is it. Tasted so how did it taste next? I had what did you have for the main course? It or they tasted dot dot dot. I also drank what did you drink? It tasted sweet or, or bitter or whatever drink you picked Finally, I had ice cream or pudding or cheesecake for dessert. It tasted sweet because all the desserts are going to be sweet the restaurant is great okay or bad so you have to tell me if the restaurant review is a good or bad or okay so you will circle one of these if it's great you like the restaurant if it's bad it's a one star so go on your rating if it's okay you will give a three star that is what you have to do for the review of the restaurant um, a lot of work there um, so hopefully we'll go okay again if there's any problems send me a message I'll and anything I'll help you with anything if you're stuck and then the next page we will do the review of um, the unit so you can see here the puzzle complete the puzzle uh, fried rice is already done for you so fried rice lemonade Fine lemonade, fine cereal, fine salty, fine spicy, fine sour, fine bitter, and fine scrambled eggs. Um, so you have to find them in the puzzle. Fried rice is already done for you. Um, so you can try and find the rest of them. 
Uh, um, there is some words there that are not in the puzzle, like chicken wings, or they're spelled wrong, so you might think, oh, that's correct, but it's not. So I'll do one for you, um, just to make sure you know what to do. Um, there is spicy, S-P-I-C-Y. So that's spicy, and then when you're finished, you can just do this, so you know you've got the word already. So that's uh, what you need to do for this page. Then, remember the two questions. What did you have for breakfast and lunch? Or how did the scrambled eggs taste? Or how did the fried rice taste? So these are the questions that you need to know. So number one, B1, what did you have for breakfast? Question mark. Two, I had fried rice and lemonade. So remember how to answer I had plus the name of the food or drink you had. And number three, how did the tuna sandwiches taste? Remember how to answer to taste, it's it or they, but in this case, it's tuna sandwich, so it's it. It tasted sweet. Um, maybe you put in a bit of a, yeah, so that is what you need to do. Make sure you know it and they again. That's page in the workbook, that was page, um, that was the page in the workbook, which is page 30, I think. That was page 30. So I do page 30 in the workbook. And the final page. What did you have for breakfast? I had scrambled eggs and fruit salad. How did the scrambled eggs taste? They tasted salty. Number two, what did you have for lunch? I had fried rice and yogurt. How, then the question would be, how did the fried rice taste? It tasted greasy. And in uh, the bre next one, what did you have for breakfast? I had cereal and great as a lemonade. Um, I think it's, yeah, I had uh, cereal and lemonade. And then the question would be, how did the cereal taste? It tasted sweet. And then number four, what did you have for lunch? Because it says my lunch. I had chicken wings and grapefruit juice. How did the chicken wings taste? They tasted spicy so you need to know that the two questions what did you have for breakfast or what did you have for lunch i had name of food dot 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 and then what how did the dot 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 taste it or they tasted and then you put in the name of the taste so if you have any problems go back over your student book or any other any other pages you have done in the workbook um so there's a lot of work there, but we're nearly ready to do the unit test. So hopefully you're studying hard and you will have an idea because you've been doing this um, now for two or three weeks. So you should have an idea what to do. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much what you have to do for today. So these are uh, a lot of four pages in the workbook and the student, two pages in the student book and two pages in the workbook. So that would be, um, all for today um i hope you're well um next class is the second last class of as i said at the start we will be nearly ready to do the unit test hopefully you will do that in uh, two lessons time um so i'll see you again in the next class so have a good day everyone